Wait, move your move your arm so it looks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at all the movement. Yeah. Oh, where's it going? Uh, Sorry, RT. Is it five a.m. right I'm, now? I'm, making, I'm also making the track hard. I'm also oh, making the hard yeah. track. Oh. <laughs> he just puts uh, a black screen. <laughs> you gonna go faster now? You gonna go faster now, my, my, my little oh. kitten? My little kitten, you gonna go faster? You gonna go faster, my little kitten? Don't do it upside oh. down. That's bad. Oh, Little oh dude. hey! That was so cool. Popping champs, oh, bitch. The fucking, perfect amount came my out. My fucking pants. My cool pants. It's like when you pop champagne and some comes out, but that's like part of the fun. And it's then you part drink of the fun. That was that was. It's, it's like pre cum. It's an explosive drink. It's like it actually kind of is like pre cum. What are we celebrating now that he did that? Is it Aiden's outfit? We're not celebrating that. We're celebrating my outfit that I got. What? what? This outfit. Let's it, talk about it, why it, we should or it, shouldn't do that. It looks like the bag that those clothes came in. <laughs> yeah, I repurposed it. That's funny. <laughs> that's, that's, on, that's a big one. That's a big <laughs> one for <laughs> blood. Hey, I, I can't watch all the blood. Look what you're fucking wearing. I'm wearing the merch that you made and you sell. I'm there, wearing yeah, your. Yeah. Hey, this say, is, say how you feel about it. Your life's work right here. Not selling. Not selling? Uh, you're, you're Not fault. a single tweet from this man's account. Hey, how uh, about you get, get off your fucking ass, boy? Hey, hey uh, where are the assets that you forgot to do? Lazy what do you mean I forgot oh. to do? Oh. I mean, that Nick set you up with a cameraman. You forgot to get the cameraman. Oh, is that a wedding, dude? Oh, 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 oh I'm sorry. Does oh. love interrupt Also, that you blew the market? off. That you blew off that you originally said you wouldn't even be available for. You were. Uh, you said that you weren't even going to be available for your own merch shoot. I said I wasn't available, and then you said, oh, that's all right. I got Yingo and me. We can do a little photo shoot. Did you? Yeah. Uh, no, and then we didn't While we're do on that. the top, you did say it and then didn't do it, yeah. <laughs> so one of you got to replace the stapler every once in a while. Stapler? We're talking about work stuff, so. What is that? It's like the office stapler. Okay, you're just office stuff? I'm doing, I'm doing office you're stuff. You're doing I'm office stuff. You're doing office bit. comedy? Yes. You're trying okay. to figure out the bit as if it yeah. wasn't like so, a, right. already there for us to understand. So we're in the cubicle. Right. right. Who? Us. Okay, we are. No, all, we weren't. Sure. There's no cubicle. We're going to start. So Aiden, you are at your desk. And Slime, you are Aiden's boss, and Aiden is wearing that to work. And yeah. there is a dress Hold codes. on, let me get into my costume. Um, Ludwig. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you look like Michael Scott season one. Oh, um, okay. So, so what, about, what are we doing here? Hey, hey. Hey, boss. Nice to see you. You were late today. I know that's it's your second time this week, and it's Monday, so it's hard for that to happen. But I'll you, fucking fine. kill you. Who are you? Wait, Who are you? Who are you in this? What's up? In the scene. I'm, I'm your right hand man. <laughs> okay, so you are the assistant of the regional yeah. manager. You are the manager. I'll fucking kill you, hey, bitch. Hey, I just hired this guy. Great guys from New Jersey. This is how they are. I sling oh. dick. He slings. Yes, he sling dick. <laughs> I, I never pump my own gas, bitch. Yeah. Okay. Can I talk to? Go ahead, <laughs> boss. Quick. Sorry, boss. So, is there a problem? There I, is. Yes. Yeah, thank you so much for asking. You were late twice, and also you came wearing, you came wearing that. He's gonna, he's gonna hiss. He's, he likes that. <laughs> he's, you would get him on a spreadsheet. He is unreal. He is so <laughs> yeah. gifted. What animal are you? So you were a ghoul, and now you're a dog. <laughs> Big dog. <laughs> so he's great. Uh, but let's explain. Why are you wearing this? Please explain it to me. Yeah, it's Casual Friday. It's not. It's Monday. I like. I said that you were late on a Monday. Yeah, the second Susan, time. Susan said that we move Casual Fridays to Mondays to keep can up you office morale. Unzip it. Yeah. I want to see what it looks like when you unzip Show it. Show me what you look like. Yeah, can you unzip your shirt? Sorry, I, sorry. I mean, unzip the shirt that you're wearing to reveal another. You, shirt. You're wearing a shirt that like prostitutes would wear to undress quicker. Yeah, you, you're very efficient. Suck and fuck. You're like yeah. a gift. It always works better unzipped. I think. A gift wrapped putana. You know what would be sick if he had a nipple <laughs> hole cut out in the second shirt. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And he had, that'd be mm. so. And he unzipped it and he didn't say a word about <laughs> it the whole day. <laughs> that'd be insane. Man. That'd be the funniest thing you ever so did. What, so, what's up, boss? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. We gotta work in this workplace environment. <laughs> David Schwimmer would have a field day. Yeah, David, David Schwimmer, Schwimmer would, would eat like a buffet here. <laughs> 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 You're saying that. Wait, you're saying that he'd love there's to harass like, our employees? Yeah, there's a lot of butt. To it's eat. open season here. Mm. It's open season. Uh, there's so much butt. We're fawn. And he and it's like a buffet and he's getting mm. the eggs. There's lawsuits left and right at this company. I, I, we when Aiden got here, he said that he bought these pants because he thought it would be funny to wear on the podcast. And then yeah. he said, Not What's the it. funniest shirt that I have to go with this? And he chose the prostitute shirt. Yeah. So, I think that by the court of law and by my b weird haircut, 
I deem Aiden funny. I'm gonna All call right, it Cope. Hey. I'm gonna call it Cope. Cope? Cope. Oh. Because oh. I, mean, I think I think he'll wear these again and again and again and again without the pod. But what's how's that different from what you do? Because you're wearing Crocs with feet painted on them. I just wear this because I fucking like looking like shit. <laughs> That's it. This is, it's like we're, we're in twisted. like the upside down world of the yard. <laughs> like, Tomorrow. He's all fucking weird. You're all purple. He has hair. <laughs> well, yeah, how are I'm you fly doing? as hell. I don't know. I'm just doing my thing. Fly as hell. Uh, well, uh, by the time this pod comes out, I've already announced my croc partnership too. What? Yo. I got my croc deal. It's no activated. shit. Yeah. What oh, is yeah. the deal? Do you I get mean, like a Ludwig You croc? know this. No, I don't, I don't know the specifics. Oh, yeah. I get, I get a pack of gibbets. That they're gonna sell instead that of money, sell. they're like licensed. Well, Do they no, I, I know. Jibbets is currency. Jibbets the new it's gold my, coin. It's my big deal. I get a pack of gibbets. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I, if I hold on to them for a while, they might they might mint. They might get in value. Yeah, yeah. when when the Fed collapses, the gibbets will be our currency. Yeah. For new I'll be trading gibbets for bread from the ashes. And <laughs> this is my path to getting my own croc. So you got to start at gibbets. They don't give you a croc you right gotta away. You got to work up. There's a, it's a corporate ladder, and it is long. Do you think Ninja could get a croc? <laughs> Fuck no. Not today. Not today. 2018 Ninja. Oh, my God. You uh, got Adidas shoes. You know that? Well, I did this. He was the only neighbor ever to check Nike. Literally, in the gamer... <laughs> well, in the gamerhood... He was the only neighbor to check Nike. <laughs> <laughs> at the State Farm shoot, everyone had to have an outfit chosen for them. Ninja worked out that he'd wear his own merch and his own shoes. Whoa. And he was just wearing Ninja. That's tight. And my ass was wearing Banana Republic. You weren't wearing Mobile <laughs> Mood. No. Jeez, man. <laughs> right, right, I'd, be, right. I'd be wearing this on Gamer Neighborhood. No, you would. You would yeah. not. No, I'd would be not looking fly, fly on Gamer Neighborhood. Fly. It's called the Gamerhood. So you know, gamer he would go on Gamer Neighborhood <laughs> and he would look gamer fly. Gamer, no, it's the gamer, gamer Neighborhood. The Gamer, the gamer neighbor, Neighbors. Where the, the all gamer the Gamer neighbors. neighbors. He would look fly. Everyone would make fun of him, but then he would make friends with everyone. And he'd be going to the cafe with Ninja next week. Yes, sir. Yeah, probably. So. That's why he's my goat now. He has uh, only friends, no best friends. Unfortunately, we're his best friends. <laughs> I, 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 I hate scoff. to say it, but we are. We're deciding that for him as well. Like, we have to be. He's what in a, your pyramid? Do I have a pyramid? Yeah, pick? he is. It's, it's kind of like family. Like, you have to Am I not? bring... Uh, you're my best friend. One of my best friends. Uh, I have a circle. Why'd you correct? Because you're not my best friend. Oh, my best oh. friend's name is Eric. He's a school teacher. I grew up with him. So he's yeah. not. Safe answer, safe answer. Someone outside the circle. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Pussies. My best friend, well, <laughs> Jesus Christ, for one. Sure. Yeah. True. God, a not close mine. second. Okay. Well, little ageist. Uh, and, and Mary? Mary coming in third? Uh, he's no. not Catholic. He's no. Christian. Protestant. Also, at the Pro moment, I'm Protestant. You can't be friends with women, so. It's true. Was it, we have a podcast. You got to get with the meta. <laughs> I, look, I guess you're right. Let's talk about women for a bit. <laughs> oh. Actually, speaking of women. We can talk about women. Oh, well, oh. well, well, <laughs> all right. Would you look, would you look at this? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm just going to do a quick unboxing <laughs> of the Amaranth. Uh, yeah. What, what, so what is it? Zipper is just going to cut to the overhead view real quick that we set up in advance so we can, uh, Archie, can you the... blur everything here? <laughs> no, uh, you don't have to blur the front, Archie. I don't even know it's, if that's right. It's why would we hide this? <laughs> the successful entrepreneurial woman. Okay, wow. That we've supported yeah. through Notes. thick and thin. First note. It's like looking at the Statue of Liberty. It well, kind of is. Yeah. It's I don't breathtaking. Know if the Statue of Liberty was the same. Wait, 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 imagine, wait, 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 imagine they, pause, they pause, live pause, in Ellis Island. Ellis Island pause. Why did they pause. see this? You think the Statue of Liberty is breathtaking? Yeah. Like you went to see it. You went to New York. I find all women breathtaking. <laughs> yeah. So. I'm sorry, what do you think? think about that? I don't think that. You don't think that? Wow. I think, I think that not all women are breathtaking. You so know what? That's a very unwoke position to take, and I applaud you for we're it. We're different Thanks. than you. <laughs> I'm not scared of the woke army. Go woke, go broke. That's what so I say. Rosa Parks. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All, all right. right. So we got past that. Well, now, wow. Finally. Now, Aiden. Finally, the podcast is, is surmounted to that <laughs> moment. Oh, <man. laughs> uh, Tell me yeah. how it works, eh? <laughs> well, well, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Can, we can't show it. We, we can't, can't we gotta show it. We, we gotta get through this fast box. because we can't have this on the screen for Why a while. Why not? We had a Sibian on the screen. And it got we, demonetized. Have we, have we told no. You? We didn't get demonetized. No, we did. blurred it. Did it not? No. No. Can we, wait, can we tell the audio listeners? For, oh, <laughs> or, oh, sorry. Audio listeners. So <laughs> some of you who have listened for a long time may recall a, a joke from a long time ago about making uh, an amaranth uh, canister stroker. Yeah. And the sketch of her being a foreman at a factory 
and uh, reprimanding Connor for not working hard Connor enough. Connor eat pant. Connor eat pant. Yeah. And uh, after a long, long wait, apparently it takes a really long time to get a sex toy made. Okay. We have uh, <laughs> developed the Amaranth Assistant, a canister stroker. It was our play tester. Yeah. Um, yeah nobody he, he worked play out all the bugs. <laughs> anything. He found an exploit where you could get like unlimited lumber. So that was, so that's yeah. out of the, that patched out. <laughs> <laughs> this took like one brick. It looks one, like a thermos. One sheep, one granite to make. That looks like a thermos. Is there coffee I think we in need there? A new, That's a we need a new disguise for uh, the, the pocket pussy equivalent. Because like for, for ages, we've hid them as flashlights. But now right. I see a flashlight and I think it's a pocket pussy. Yeah, that's that's a tough thing to deal with. I, I do remember the if first. If I see like a, like a flashlight that looks like that, I'm like, I, is that a pocket pussy? Well, you're like, I, I, I'd fuck that. I'd fuck that thing. Yeah. I'd, I get all up in there. When we got the test product at the old house, I remember me and Nick were in the office and uh, we were like, when Cutie comes home, let's trick her into thinking it's a coffee cup. <laughs> yeah, we were like, oh, you gotta try this latte. It's fucking no flames. flames. Nick's been making, Nick's been back at the, on the espresso. <laughs> <He's back laughs> on the sticks. And she, put, she lifts it up, opens it up. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> did she like, did she like let me yelp? <laughs> <laughs> this is very funny. Oh man! Uh, but yeah, this is obviously very late, and I can't imagine our audience has an incredible amount of crossover with the audience that wants Speaking to buy this. Speaking of, uh, we're gonna do a giveaway. Lightly, everyone used. in the Patreon. Uh, you know, we're not checking ages. We're just uh, <laughs> we're checking <laughs> ages. The website very specifically checks All right, ages. We're checking ages, apparently. And hey, we're, hey, wink. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hey, we're gonna. We're gonna check some ages in there, right? Right? <laughs> right? You are too old to be saying this. We're checking this. This flies on not 30 yet. We're checking ages. I'm not, you're not 30 yet? What is that? Ugh. If you are not 18, please don't go look at it or buy it. Please, for the love of God. Don't look at it. Avert your <laughs> eyes. Avert your eyes. We do got young viewers too. I'll tell you, I just went back from VidCon. A lot of young yard listeners. How Ooh. was that? <laughs> stop listening. There's, yeah, I stop was, listening. We don't want you to listen, by the way. We don't like you. Ludwig specifically said it. We are The three of us Ludwig are Ludwig Secret it. talks about not liking Maddie, you. Maddie, we were cool. I thought you were cool. Oh, so you're cool with a minor. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm cool with Maddie. The minor. I, d I didn't call her Ma that. Yeah. Maddie the minor. She yearned for the mines, so she started working there. <laughs> what? How was VidCon? VidCon was tiring. Well, yeah, you got you got worked like a like a cattle. I did get worked like cattle, and it turns out VidCon also kind of lame. No, I think so compared to TwitchCon. It feels like every influencer who's there did not want to be there. What is VidCon for? Video conferences. Mm. So it's Zoom. It was made by <laughs> Hank Green and John Green, the Vlog Brothers, okay. one of whom is a famous author you might have heard of. Yeah, and also he got uh, he he his posts made Tumblr reblogs change the rules, so you couldn't do it anymore. They took a John Green post, and instead of him saying whatever he said, someone reblogged it and changed the words to "cock is one of my favorite tastes." <laughs> Not only that, but balls smell amazing, <laughs> and it's this whole paragraph. Those are the first two sentences about how he much loves like. Like hot, salty loads in his mouth. Right. right. Yeah. And after that happened, it got so popular and funny. Tumblr changed the rule so you couldn't reblog other people's posts to make it look like Twitter they said changed things. that rule. This I, is like I think around a similar time. This is the OG version of Twitter now. Like like when they had Quote people tweets. be verified Correct. accounts, like yeah. fake verified accounts. <laughs> I think I called that out too as it happened. Yeah. It makes me go crazy on it, to be honest. So this is the whole... The <laughs> coffee pasta. And, uh, wow. And, because his name was Fishing Boat Proceeds, which is a tax form thing that i know all of, anyway sorry wow okay you're you're heavy i didn't know you knew a youtuber what can i say i don't <laughs> I, I know him from this <laughs> we're <laughs> watching we're in the office watching sabrosa on the big screen and anthony was like why does he keep talking like this just talk normal <laughs> and, he, and he's like he's like he's not like this normally and, and last week he came into the office and he was like, who is this? <laughs> like he didn't know who Sabrosa yeah, was a week ago. And now he's an intimate enough relationship that yeah. you can tell when he's talking weird. I'm glad you and Sabrosa have gotten so close over the I years. I haven't watched him since that last week, but when I noticed who it was, yeah. I just assumed he so didn't crazy, talk he like that. So crazy, keeps switching up. Uh, so they sold this. They sold this VidCon Got to some it. company who produces it. It's been like the YouTube event for a long time, but last year YouTube didn't sponsor it because I think they were going to make their own. YouTube TikTok Con. sponsored it. Oh. It was all TikTokers. This year, YouTube's like, you know what? Making our own is kind of hard. Are you good? It's just, you dinging over one, here. It's my 
You digging? How about you turn that shit off because we have a job to work do. Work time. Work time. It's work time. Unzip that work shit. Time. Unzip that shit. It's work time. <laughs> time to get to work. Yep. Show. Well, actually, and I want it all. Yeah, boss. <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. he's a good employee. Um, all oh, fucked up under there. <laughs> it's YouTube again, and uh, and and I went and and there's you know what I found out there's a lot of fucking YouTubers. Uh, yeah. Too many goddamn YouTubers. They had like. Uh, this little Hyatt Regency. It's like this fancy ass Hyatt that they bought the entirety of, rented it out for the weekend. It was only YouTubers in it who have like at least 100K, oh half a mil, God, that... million subscribers. Yeah. I Dude, don't recognize we... anyone. <laughs> that would be like the best use of a missile of all time. <laughs> what? Why? To kill them all? Yeah, killing every YouTuber. Really? Yeah. There's, we... You know, Drew Gooden probably didn't go. He was there. Really? Yes. Then it would not be cool. Oh. He was there. And I was going to say YouTuber. hi, but I didn't get to say hi, which is a bummer. Bummer. I know. I was bummer. Why? Are Khan's dead? I E three is fucked. E three is fucked. Uh, RTX, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Uh, VidCon. Uh -huh. this, people finally realize Anime that Expo's still popping. TwitchCon is also popping. The weebs don't quit. TwitchCon's doing dees. What do you think it is? You had a theory at brewing just now. Because people are realizing that there is nothing to do at conventions. That is my theory. If there's yeah, not I melee, feel, what I are feel you doing? Like the the appeal of Anime Expo is like things you buy. Yes, it yeah. is. And that's why it's insane. Mm. You're paying a. Giant ticket price to go to a convention so you can buy more things. You're basically no, going no. to Frankenstein's. You're basically going <laughs> to meet other people who also like the thing you like that you've met online. Yeah. So you can hang or out with place to cosplay. I guess sure, that's the yeah. only uh, that's the only appeal of a convention. I think I really understand is for most people. Like if you have some sort of uh, if you have some sort of interest like anime, you have this one like pinnacle event for the year that you can go to as an excuse to like hang out with other people. Yeah. But in terms of content at the convention itself for what you can do and how you spend your time, I think conventions have always been like pretty soulless to me. I think YouTube is just too big. It's too many people. Yeah, I, th I think the big differentiator is products. Because I'm even thinking of conventions that aren't for creators, like Cinegear Expo, which is like film stuff. Yeah. You just go to see new products. Yeah, you want to see what like the new Lamborghini and camera is. it's like, is yo, and... cool, they put a fucking well, no, you go camera there, on a shark. You go there and network like a jerk off and shit, right? Yeah. Like, no, yo, not, not, like, bro, not real heads. Build. Not that's real what I'm heads. saying, but that's the idea. Oh, but maybe the most. But yeah, you could know. be... <laughs> Yeah, you that's, beat what off with your that's what Adobe Max is for. And you beat off with your Adobe Max is Adobe Max. so cringe. Holy, you, you go and the company you work for is on your badge, and like people will either want to talk to you or not want to talk to you that's depending high. on what your that's badge social says. Credit score. It's let's, crazy. Let's go to Adobe Max with the yard and see. And and like Linus. And sell that. Yeah. <laughs> Did he, uh, we actually produce is, uh, sex toys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. See, we have a podcast. <laughs> you're, our, you're our yard no loads refused uh, at the booth. That's what you should have done. You should have kept him at the VidCon booth uh -huh. instead of merch and clothes and all that dumb shit. Right. It's Aiden behind in a that glory shirt. hole. Yeah. In a glory hole. <laughs> mm. and, okay. and zero refusal. For sure. I, I, I intro, I intro this said, with something. Yep. Just said. Go ahead. I believe, I believe you said yeah, there are it. a lot of miners there. Thank you. There. Thank you. Yep. That wow. is how I intro Obviously, this. check ID's. That. Well, check we'll ID's. Play, we'll play like, some we'll Minecraft too. Check like Maddie Healy, when he's like, there was this video of him like getting, like giving a kiss to a girl for the first time at a concert. Concert, and he's like sitting there like reading her ID really carefully before he does this and I'm like this isn't hype it's weird. this is weird but it wouldn't be weird with Aiden it would, because it he, would. He, his body doesn't quit his body yeah. doesn't quit yeah, yeah. and Matt Healy's Matt does Matt Healy's which does quit and he has yeah. bad teeth Aiden's teeth are nicer well they're yeah, nicer they are nicer I'll give him that well uh, they got the one big one <laughs> well, uh, what, I, what I also <laughs> found out big one <laughs> so I, I asked everyone who had any sort of yard merch on and by the way this con mostly women okay mostly women at this con That's like the attendees and the gays women and the gays women and the gays okay crush this i would say 70 percent uh, wow I, I, have right. I have a question about this uh -huh. yeah but keep going oh, Prezzo no, doing go 30 minutes uh, at vidcon why why do you because i've i've noticed that like at your live events and things like that the uh the gender split is much more even compared to the actual split for viewership online. Mm, we've why talked about this. Why we do you talk, think that is? Me and Connor theorized. Uh, I thought for a long time it's because guys are lazy, which they are. Yeah. I think they are lazier. Lib but Connor brought up a really good point that uh, girls uh, are generally down to be fans of stuff and like, you know, mm. talk to other people and be like, yeah, I'm a fan mm. of this. Or, You're a fan of this. Cool. We should hang out and be fans of this together. But guys like to think they're above being a fan of anything. And they, they'll be a fan. They'll do everything a fan does, but like they'll pretend they're not a fan. Yeah. And if pressed, we'll even like pretend they're a, 
like never don't even know about deal, it yeah. or or like fake it and i think there's like an it element would be gay if you went to the ludwig booth exactly even and though so, you've seen so, every ludwig video that's why the gay people are cool seen... going <laughs> Dude, <laughs> this is a true theory, and let me tell you why. Uh -huh. Because when I was a very little kid, I was eight years old, I loved Weird Al Yankovic. I was ten, maybe. He does parody songs for mm -hmm. the Zoomers. Yeah, you don't need to... Okay, You're thank explaining... You. For the Weird Zoomers. Al. Oh, for the... Oh, okay. I thought you were... I see. Think about it. They don't know shit. Unless he came... Unless Weird Al got big on TikTok, no one knows. Driveway. He's like a, a Ludwig with mm -hmm. um, hacks, but for Zoomer, or for Boomers. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, I'm it's, the Weird it, Al Yankovic of the new era. Y yes, you are. You are Jewish. I... So uh, <laughs> he he was like my mother got it from her. <laughs> he uh, so I really liked him, and I liked all the songs. And there was a concert in Nevada, and I was with my dad in the summer. And I was like, Dad, there's a Weird Al concert. I saw it, and I was like, I want to go. Let's go. And he's like, Okay, let's go. Like my dad's down. He's like, Fuck it, I'll take my kid to see a show. And uh, and then like two days before the show, I get cold feet because I'm like, I don't want to go. And he's like, Why? I was like, I'm afraid that no one else will be there, and it'll be like, basically the eight, the ten year old equivalent of like cringe. Like I was afraid that <laughs> it'll only be weird. I, you and Weird Al. It would be like, and it would be like weird that not a lot of people like Weird Al because I like, well, that it, it would be gay to be a fan of that. Yeah, you know, essentially. Right. And he's like, that's dumb, but okay, we don't have to go. And then we didn't. Wow. So you're right. Lundin. I think I'm right about this. But then, I yeah, Dubbin. I think that I think that makes sense. Uh, you always talked about me not watching any media as a kid, which is, you know, true. Maybe because true. you were on Skype and playing Wii yeah, sport. But that's weird. Out was one uh, one thing I watched. I had a DVD with a, like an hour plus of Weird Al music videos that this I watched like, just over told and over. Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> and I watched it at my friend's house a bunch because he had it and then I listened to Weird Al's music all the time. So there you go. And then you listen to the real common, versions common later common on, on in your life. And you're like, oh, that's really funny to think about. Yeah, that's why I've always thought I've had this inverted perspective of life. I, lo I listened and watched like all the parody shit before the actual source material. So I just live like, you know, on the upside down. When I found out white and nerdy was not the original. <sighs> I'm saying. Yeah. Right. Took me back. Also went through that. You're like, oh, fuck me. The writing dirty. <laughs> <laughs> what? They, that can't be the case. <laughs> it's too dangerous. There should be a lawsuit somewhere. <laughs> So yeah. Uh, so how else was VidCom? I asked every yard member who they would kill. Uh, no. And the stats went what? What? No, these are remember these are Ludwig fans. Like, right? Oh. You know, no so one's going to say Ludwig to him. They're too afraid. Who, I, who is your guest? Let's go around. Who do you think? I asked probably about 10 to 15 people. I think it's me. It's me. I think number 1 is Aiden, I think number 2 is me, I think number 3 is Slime, I think number 4 is you. So nobody was exempt. Everybody was named. Everyone got, okay. got a clip. Everybody got a clip. The most kills was me. Because it's funny. That surprised me. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> it was the highest kill rate. They don't actually rate. mean it. It was the highest kill rate by, by a little margin. Number two, Aiden. No way. Yeah. I am such a, f a f uh, I am a fan. No, how do I say it? Uh, then it's me next. I, it was about a tie. You guys each had like hey. one or two. Hey, Shaq and Kobe. Boom. Boom. But I will say the people who Fucking wanted to kill you both said yeah. it like really quick. Strong muscles. Really? They, they like, like when I asked and it would be like me or in be like, ah. And then if I was like, who do you want to kill? I was like, slime. Slime, 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 slime. I am his eyes, bulbs his eyes. Dude, I am so, I'm such a hit with the gays. Um, <laughs> well, I didn't tell you That's who a reach. wanted to kill you. Yeah, I think that. Oh, so <laughs> math wise, this is incorrect. Majority gays and women, 70% at VidCon. Name three then you guys. Name three guys. Name three guys. Fresno. Actually, you know what? He is right. Tom the, Ford. The two that wanted to kill you were guys. That's what I'm saying. They're threatened by me. Maybe <laughs> it's a threatened thing. Yeah. The straights are threatened by my energy. I don't fucking know. Yeah, you're yeah. getting there. No, that's... A <laughs> also, one other conclusion I came to at VidCon is that Dream is popular. Dream. Uh-huh. Oh. He's popular. Was he there? No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was did there. He, did oh. he have the mask? <laughs> did he have the mask? Was he mask off or fuck it, mask on? He was fucking mask on with an entourage of people, and there was also some. Dude, like, he should do the MF Doom thing where he just sends someone else in the mask. That's, Boom. I think he will do that. That's awesome. I think that's where he will. That's go. what Marshmallow does. Yeah. He just wow. has a guy show up to appearances. Dude, well, hold on. DJ that guy's a big once. marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> guy He's <in> busy. <laughs> Wait, so did he have like a like a Saudi like entourage as well? Like the same people that defend oil like princes 
It's just with uh, fucking machine guns and rocket launchers. <laughs> Strict VidCon rule, you cannot walk on the floor as a creator without some sort of security with you. Wow. Broke it day one. Wasn't this? You did? Instantly. You did? Yes. There was, was like your security? Yingling? Three email. Well, there's actually like a bunch of people in suits that were supposed to walk you around that were just waiting. Wasn't this a rule in reaction to the Logan Paul fountain thing from a few years ago? Yes. I think it was in reaction, yeah, because he would run and then people would chase him. Yeah, oh. and there's like this old video of Logan Paul pre pre controversy back in like Logan Paul viral Facebook video era. Did he film a dead person at the fountain? <laughs> uh, yeah, he killed like he a killed couple someone fans. at the Chevy Fountain. <laughs> I, think, yeah. I, think, I think Lud could take a pretty large amount of VidCon fans. We needed to. It's just how many. Like if they're run, it'd be like Nazi zombies. Like he he, get, he gets to like round thirteen. <laughs> yeah. He just. You just gotta kite. Vi- vi- <laughs> I'm cutting the ads. Get them. It's like VidCon is like where anyone can be Austin Power. That's kind of fun. What does that mean? What does I'm that mean? In, this case? in the beginning, no, when they're figure. chasing him and shit. Oh, okay, all right. Okay. I see. Yeah. Wee, 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 wee. Yeah, right. I know. I know. This is what? stupid because I obviously things have changed, but I did have this weird feeling when somebody somebody added the yard, like all of us, and was like. Hey, are you guys coming to VidCon? Like, can't wait to see you guys. Like, saw you on like a program or something, and I was like, "How would they want to see me?" Oh, and then uh, like not not in like a self deprecative way. It was just like, "Oh, that's weird." Like, I'm not a VidCon guy, oh. but that's 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 like a weird yeah, change saw, in circumstances. I saw a lot of uh, me and Slime were were without saying anything too specific. We were labbing it out in the DMs while I was in New York. We're, we were like seeing things people were saying to you on Twitter and being like. Why are they talking like this? Yeah, why, so like, well, why, are they, why do they behave this way? Are they our fans? Why would like, they make this interaction in this situation? <laughs> like, what does this say to them online and then in person? We were just doing this, it was like, like random people who were like meeting him and saying, posting photos and, and oh, we, talk, yeah. talking like we were trying to get inside the mind, of talking like a aliens carjacker. sent to Earth who had to act human because <laughs> he's Weird Al and you want a picture with Weird Al. Okay, this is this is great. This is really who funny. Who wants guys? to tell the people? Come on. So we we are recording. There's this. a good reason. Aiden, 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 please. It's time Aiden. for us to talk and not you to talk. We're recording this a day after the main episode of the podcast. You might see we're wearing, we're wearing different, different clothes. clothes. Actually, kind of confirms that we're clothes. recording some, it later. Some clothes. So I'm pants. wearing different. Clothes. Uh, Aiden, Aiden, you're. you're you're close. So, but before that, let's let's talk about MeUndies, the sponsor of today's podcast. Uh, and and MeUndies, yeah, they're great. If you're sick of your old scratchy underwear, we recommend MeUndies. But but let's not let's not hear it from us. Let's hear it from a user of MeUndies. Because Aiden, can you're you actually re- wearing them? Can yeah. you actually show off which underwear you're wearing? Just yeah, maybe I've give got us my a Martini MeUndies on. Martini, okay. Martini, and, me and that's so cute, right? This is so cute. They look great. Give they them feel a 360, great. Aiden. Give them a 360. 360 yeah. degrees. Wow. They it, look comfy. They're soft. Sit down. Now put your Monthly shipments right to door. Options. You got Wait, undie socks, I, bralettes. Why do I recognize these Yeah, because that's the same pair of that? underwears that he wore yesterday. No, I have two pairs oh, of eyes. Two pairs. They sent two pairs of our team. Two pairs of our team. They sent them. They sent them to the office. One pair of office. One pair of office. One pair of house. They actually specifically don't send us the same pair twice. They don't send you the same pair because MeUndies has so much variety. They don't need to do that. No, they send you the same pair every time because they have a lack of variety. No, they don't do that. They actually send an email that says they never do that. And they say interesting styles and patterns. Each month that are never duplicates, never duplicated. They're not even comfortable. So to get twenty five percent off your first purchase of underwear that you could wear two days in a row if you wanted, but I would not recommend it. I would not recommend. It's good to switch them out. Circumstantial. Circumstantial. You go to meundies.com slash zipper. Zipper got in on this one. Zipper is getting a cut of this. Mm -hmm. It's meundies.com slash zipper. And uh, and Aiden, you, you should actually use it. That way, you can had, wear different pairs of underwear. I slept right? over. <laughs> I slept over. We gotta we gotta commend him for how much he cares about the environment. That he won't wash his underwear and he eats his boogers. Yeah. <laughs> did you sniff test him before putting them on, or did you just keep them on? It, it does smell like a grilled onion Not and cheese chocolate. sandwich in here. All right. Well, thanks. Let's get back to the episode where it goes back in time one day where he's still wearing the same. And you will eventually take these off, which is a spoiler for yeah. the episode. That's kind of fun. So, uh, enjoy. A lot of people are bummed we didn't do the yard live. Sorry we didn't do the yard live. It's we all right. canceled a few weeks before, or maybe a couple weeks. Uh, we had some changes. Maybe are, we four to, days. are we trying to lie? <laughs> how, 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 I'm how to lie. A couple weeks. <laughs> Couple weeks, right? I think yeah. it was a couple. Was no, it, a week? it was. It was like six days, right? No, no, no. I think it was, was, it was actually a couple weeks. Yeah, it was a couple weeks. That's a real Dead answer. Ass ong. It might have been ten days. That's what I think it is. Ten days. Yeah, that was a number couple weeks. You can call we say, days, Can weeks. we say why? Uh, so well, yeah, we can say why. I mean, the reason was because we had like an hour slot, and the communication for like production and how it was meant to go was like a little sparse. 
So we were nervous because we didn't get to control that, that our first live show would suck. Yeah. yeah but I just wanted to be special. they printed out, and this is no fault of theirs, the pamphlet and like all the stuff with what was the schedule before we oh, canceled. Oh, that makes so sense. So it said the yard live. Yes. That Damn. makes sense. Wow. So it said the yard I'm surprised live. surprised they on, got the title right. On like the physical <laughs> stuff. <laughs> well, that's I'm why surprised I, it wasn't Ludwig's panel featuring four losers. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I wasn't annoyed when I kept getting questions and shit. It's like, is this happening? It's like, Something must have happened, and I like I will, you know, just set the record straight. Like, oh, it's not. So we'll do it at some point, but we yeah. didn't do it at VidCon. Sorry. Yeah, we'll do. We, yeah, we got stuff in the in the in the pipeline. I was. Busy. It's mostly poop. We got, but... we got stuff in the in the Amaranth assistant. This, yeah, <laughs> the sewer. I was working hard this weekend, <laughs> getting it ready. Don't pull it up again. What? You were at the blurred again. Oh come Archie, on! Archie, you shouldn't have said that. Give Archie a workout for once. It's already blurred on the box. Well, All right, make it make it hard. <laughs> make it hard on Archie and throw it to Nick, and then he has to like track it when it yeah, flies across. Yeah. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Whoa! What's hey, up, Archie? Whoa. Wait, move your move your arm so it like. Oh. <laughs> look at all the movement. Yeah. Oh, where's oh. it going? Uh, Sorry, Archie. Is it five a.m. right I'm, now? I'm, making, I'm also <laughs> making the track hard. I'm also oh, making it's the hard track. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he just puts uh. a black screen. <laughs> that says "fuck you all." Good luck. Oh, oh kickflip oh, it. Okay, sitting kickflip. Oh, it's durable. Yeah, it, with sort of kickflip. Uh, so <laughs> that was that was that was VidCon. I met oh someone from Make a Wish too. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Which we was found crazy. out. I think I said this before. It's not just terminal people. Yes. Sometimes oh, yeah, I have a, this is not a joke question. I have a real question. Is the person from Make a Wish? Uh, do they have like hospital stuff with them? Are they like hooked up to stuff, or are they like just a person? They're just a human. Yeah, they, they're, they're not they like wearing a gown. They're not like on my head. It's like they're like they're in a gown and they have like it's like a uh, 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 the Black Parade. Music video? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're not on death's door waiting for My Chemical Romance to show up. They're, they're, they're just humans who uh, were sick or maybe are sick who signed up for Make a Wish and get a wish. Yeah. And I think the wish, I didn't know about it until like the week of. You can go, it's like, oh, you're going to be with a few families. I'm like, oh, stressful. You know? <laughs> I don't know how to make sure no, it's a worthwhile experience. You're, you're, you, you got it. And so then we're driving up to the place, and I just came from a panel, and Ingle's like, yeah, a couple families dropped, so it's just two now. I'm like, they dropped? I don't <laughs> like, like that. I was like, what do you mean they Why dropped? Why did they drop? I realized as I'm walking, this is not for me. Like, it is for me, but I think the wish is like, I want to be a YouTuber or something like that. Mm. So they go to VidCon, they get an all-access VidCon pass. And then there's a list of influencers who are at VidCon, and it's like, I want to meet Bing, Bang, Bing, Bing, Bing. Yeah. And then they ask the influencer if they want to do it, they can do it. But I think I'm like in a slew. I'm in the, I'm in the pile of slop with other people. Yeah, you're in the trough. I'm in the trough. Yummy slop and, for you. Uh, <laughs> and I, so I go in, and it's two families. They're very sweet. We play Uno. Imagine they weren't. Uh, they dust <laughs> me. And, uh, but, uh, but I could tell, like, there was a girl in a wheelchair. wheelchair. It was like her Make-A-Wish. But she wasn't like, I don't feel like she recognized me or like, you know, watch me. But her dad was like, dude, my brother loves your stuff. <laughs> oh, no. And I, was, and I was like, I don't like that. I was like, that's dope. And he was, he was like, yeah, it's great, man. It's great. And, and I got the feeling that, that the father. <laughs> I don't like that oh. at all. Yeah. Like, honey, honey, get out of the wheelchair. Let me sit in there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> they were incredibly son, sweet. Son, take off the Batman costume and give it to me. Yeah. Give it to me. <laughs> it's a, it's a ho holy, uh, holy potatoes, Batman, to me. Also, what is the guy that does this? The Make-A-Wish stuff. What does that question mean? You're Do you think it's a mascot? A yeah. Do you like, think there's like a like a grimace equivalent for make yeah. a wish? Is there like a big cheetah? The, the make a wish cheetah. It's still grimace. He <laughs> <laughs> just have to pick up more and they ships. And pay McDonald's to license him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what a roundabout thing. Yo, there's a mascot in Japan for deporting foreign foreigners. <laughs> for yeah, deporting his name's, refugees. His name's Mario Mario. Can you look up Japan <laughs> deport refugee mascot? Is he cute? Yeah, really cute. <laughs> Yeah, and I'll go to schools and it'll be like, refugees are scared. <laughs> Dude, that is insane. Deport, deport, deport. And they all chant it in Japanese. For VidCon, what was the, uh, was the best part of it, the middle part of it, and the worst part of Ooh. it for you? Uh, While Zipper pulls that up. Okay, all right. Real quick, best part, meeting people. People were nice. Everyone was sweet. Okay. I had zero bad interactions. Yeah. Zilch. With the viewers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Middle part was like the panels. They feel strung together mm. by 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 a shoestring and one email. Yeah. With hey, this is the panel. This is the group. And then everyone showed up and not really know. A shoestring and a horse barrel. And a son of a bitch. Hey man. Tan mm -hmm. your backside. Horse, horse red. part. 
was people coming up to me who were not viewers in the behind areas. Like we're only like, Hey, industry people have access or YouTubers have access. So some of the YouTubers are nice or whatever, but like I had a bunch of like VC types come up, you know, a mm, couple like trying couple, to build a couple. Yeah. We're Harvard dropouts and working on this scalable crypto solution. And we're thinking <laughs> we can tap into the oh. live stream viewer base. Can you hit hear our pitch for a bit? And it's like, it's like, I got 20 minutes for lunch. Like you're killing me. That's this is a, uh, that's, that's what networking is. It sucks. Did you say yes to anything? No, I said no. I, they went through their whole pitch about this scalable solution about a viewer funded thing that's better than crypto. Oh, it's and at the very end. They're like, "What do you think?" <laughs> and I was like, "I was like, uh, yeah, I wouldn't use it." <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, "Why?" And I'm like, "I don't like being viewer funded. I think it's dumb. Uh, I make millions from YouTube." And they're like, "Okay, <laughs> that's so cool." Okay, bitch, you weren't even hot anyway. Dude, I would love to just follow Ludwig around, being like, "Yeah." <laughs> 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 you heard what he just said to you it was no that's how i feel when we play valorant and he snaps at teammates that are being dicks because finally i'm not the guy he's trying to cool off i get to be in the backpack like yeah get him he he thinks you suck it's sometimes fun. i get mad at him and it's scalable so we should actually yeah, do it's it a, it's a it's solution. a scalable solution <laughs> Did they get the AI or the web for it? it? Zipper said he couldn't find mascots for deportation, but he found prison mascots. You All know right, what? Let's show, bring up the prison, the prison mascots. Mascot. That one is a tomato. That's so cute. <laughs> it is really cute. It says walk a pee, oh. and it has a W on the mouth and a P on the belly. It, it's for a women's prison. <laughs> for <laughs> notorious inmates. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a police officer who has a beehive for a head. Ah, uh, Nipo-kun, I've come to <laughs> go send you to the death sentence today. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they have mascots for the jails? You will eat gruel and live in isolation. They have mascots <laughs> for everything. <laughs> okay, this one's a little angry. He's He looks like a prisoner mascot. Don't fuck with Katakuri-chan, because Katakuri-chan will Ooh, dice your he's, shit. He's a prison warden with a giant <laughs> purple flower for hair. So that's cool. Yeah. The mascot of Ashikawa Prison. Yeah. This oh. one's just like a cute bear. I like that, that guy. That looks like an Animal Crossing character. That Japan crazy, man. It's a reindeer, right? Dude, is that, is that, is Animal Crossing just based on prison mascots? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. we never knew? They're all retired prison mascots <laughs> who have con congregated in one wow. island. Wow. That's hype. Blue Lives Matter could have a whole new demographic if they just... Went in that direction. What's you know? blue in, in Spanish? Japanese. Um, blue, Jack. Blue. <laughs> no. Blue. Connor's with you. Ask him. <laughs> Connor, come on out here. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's the Connor Another episode. Another million view episode. It would be a million view episode. <laughs> Unfortunately, there, there's a Disney. cheat code, man. Connor? The whole squad. What was oh, that? Wait, wait, wait. Say it again. Ow. 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 I was so, Ow. I was Ow. so happy when I saw your thumbnail and I could read a name. Oh, yeah, I, I posted a thumbnail of China's Hardest Game, and it had the top three world record holders, yeah. and Aiden's in the group chat, and like, that means two eggs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Knee <Yeah>. done. <laughs> You're, you still got it, baby. I yes. like how you did retain it. Retain. I, I, learned, I remembered wait, wasn't, eggs. Wasn't one of your gamer tags egg? Mm, no, I just got excited. Or, yeah, yeah, the one my Smurf name is Spicy Penguin Egg. That's why he knows egg. Uh, well, That's he still knows it. Still locked his memory. Can't blame him. I'm blaming him. How is New York? <laughs> New York sucks. New Jort. What? New York's a shitty and place. What Jort. the fuck? What do you like mean about that? it? It's He's such an LA kid. No, I hate LA. That's why I don't like New York. It's no, that you don't. Worse. You don't. You don't. I think you like LA. I think I, I, the way I've seen you interact with the, with this world. What? I, I can just tell you love you love it. I You're don't. an LA guy. I don't. I like where I live. Does I don't do, live. Does he do anything that is stereotypically LA? No. Like, no. The way he tries to so work in scared. the way he consumes. Let me. He works in film. He fucking loves milk substitutes. He's, he's, yeah, he's always got a milk substitute <laughs> beverage uh -huh. in his hand. Always. Let me be he loves driving. Tattooed out the ass. Why do you think you like driving? I like New York if I love driving. Like, no, I'm saying you love LA. I you hate, hate, hate New York. New York. Why would you sense. love LA if you love driving? But I don't know why. Because you, you have do. to drive. You're, say, you're trying to say examples of why I like you LA. Love no, this, driving. You, you have you to, like have to in drive in LA. In LA. I don't think you have to oh, drive you in do LA. Like driving, don't you? No, I hate <laughs> driving. <laughs> but you take none casual of you know me. You take wait, 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 wait. casual drives. You take casual drives. Casual drives. Don't tell drives. I'm never a good friend. I can't hear what you're saying. Remember when you were going on casual drives to like clear your mind and shit? You like driving. I do that when I'm miserable. But you still do it. Yeah, Why do you do it to get happier? To be happier. Yes. <laughs> yeah, well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did it. We did it. Look, let me be more specific. So, thanks, Zipper. I made the mistake of staying in Manhattan, and yeah. I really don't like Manhattan. But 
I West thought. side or what? <laughs> <laughs> were you on the Seinfeld side or the? Were you? I was, near, in, uh, I was in Midtown. Mid Square. Okay. Mid, Midtown Fuck Square. Yeah. Midpoint. Love time Midtown uh-huh. Square. Uh, but I spent a lot of time in Brooklyn, and that was a lot better. Yeah. Uh, I, Brooklyn was cooler. Um, but I, I, when I was there, I went there to visit my dad and I rented a Maserati cause I wanted to impress him and I was, cause he likes, he builds cars. Boo. So I was like, I'm going to pull up in like a cool car and then we're going to drive around. When you're not, when you're not 30, you actually can't rent a lot of cars. Uh, I tried cause I wanted to get like a really fucking nice car and they only, well, you can rent normal cars when you're 25, just not the sports cars. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But I'm you trying a lot of cars. But I'm trying so I'm like, to get a sports car. Sure. Specifically because he's into cars. So I got a, uh, Maserati Gran Turismo and I was driving it <laughs> I don't know why but it's very it's, it's 2012 so like the the in what's it called like the infotainment system or whatever Console? uh is kind of outdated but it had a screen and it had like some weird version of CarPlay um and there was a button on the wheel that said uh SCR which I learned later was probably screen um and it was the only button that would change it was in touch screen it was the only button that would like change anything on it and the only two things it would do is uh, one, go to a screen where it tries to connect to my phone but does not work, and two, loops the movie Ice Age Two. No. And so I was driving around Manhattan, <laughs> looping Ice Age Two the entire trip. That's so hard. How's it start? Uh, I it was like always right in the middle. Like it was always oh. like like it would like the car would restart the movie from the middle. Yeah. When the car turned on, it's the best part is I in love that the part. best. The best part's when the the opening sequence when he gets the he gets the nut, but he never gets. But the he nut. never gets the yeah. nut. Yeah. Ah, but, but, but you got think it. he got it. They got it recently. They they gave it to him. Remember that? No, I haven't seen. I, I haven't watched. I it. Yeah. recently. Watching Ice Age. Yeah. Ice Age. Yeah. 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 It was it was like, <laughs> it was like a promotion on online. for sure. Twenty seven yeah. years old. I'm also t- I'm not twenty seven yet. I'm some younger. I'm younger. He's younger. He's young. And fresh. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. Besides that, that was basically the most. Oh no, I went to I went to a sumo fight. Yeah, I saw that. I oh, saw yeah. it. I knew you were to New York. It was so York. awesome. I saw you at a sumo fight, and I was like, "That's not New York." I had a really dumb <laughs> thought what you do when there. I saw that you when I saw that you were there because Hassan and Will were doing uh, sumo, sumo stuff in Japan, yeah. and I was like, "Did Nick like go meet them?" He just like, lied. He's like, like, "I'm going to New York. Goes to Japan." Yeah. <laughs> it's like you could have just said that you were doing that. Uh, you don't need. Why to did lie. you go to Japan without us? Why did you go to Japan and well, why did the sumo so fight? So I I went there hang out with my dad, and then after I was done hanging out with my dad, I I tried to like meet up with everyone who I know out there. And one I was hanging out with Caleb from Pot About List, and we <laughs> he was like, "Do you want to go to a land cafe?" And I was like, "Sure." And we went. We played Valorant in a land cafe. It was hype. We were fist bumping after games and stuff. <laughs> um and. Uh, and the guy who owns the land cafe watches the yard. So I was getting free Red Bull. It was pretty tight. Mm-hmm. Um, and then after he was like, yo, tomorrow we're going to go uh, take acid and watch sumo wrestlers. Oh, my God. You want to go do that? And I was <laughs> like, that is so fucking funny. I would love to go. And it was so expensive. It was like $120. And you're supposed to, you, the idea is that you like eat sushi while watching sumo wrestlers. But when I got there and they served us sushi, it was like a like a Walmart bento box. Yeah. Like it was not like good sushi. That it makes was sense. Like, it was like $8 worth of sushi. Okay. Uh, so it's about $110 to watch sumo wrestlers fight. But the seat's pretty good, right? Because it's like not normal stadium seating because you have a table and seat's, shit. Yeah, seat's, gr- seat's pretty good. You're like, I don't know. It, I've seen these venues. It was kind of like medieval times. <laughs> it was like, like right. it, wasn't, it wasn't a stadium, but it was just like, like they all had different colored diapers on and I'm like, go red. <laughs> red diapers. <laughs> we were betting $5 per. Yeah, um, nice. and they had a high roller friend who was doing twenty to forty with me. Per, oh, I would have loved to be in the mix. Um, and the, uh, and the, format, diapers. the format is weird. Like, so like there's like uh, two fighters, and then one wins, and winner stays on, and then someone else comes on. They don't play rotation. And they just in New keep York. going until there's a champion, <laughs> which I did not understand. Like, when do you end? When does it stop? Like, I like, I didn't get it at all. And they try, they were like announcing like how it works, but like you couldn't hear them. Um, and also I learned that you could be 600 pounds and you can lose to a 200 pound sumo wrestler. That's one of the beauties of sumo wrestling. It's it not based great. on size. I watched, I watched technique. it dude. Cause we were betting like the way we were betting was kind of fraudulent. Like I'd be like, I get green and he's like, I get red. And then if green won, I just get to stay green. So like my, my right. horse is getting uh, fatigued. Yeah. True. For the next fight. Yeah. That and, makes sense. Which though. is kind of weird. Um, and so this guy comes on, <laughs> my guy's like, like 600 pounds. And I'm like, that's my guy. I'm betting on that guy. Well, who do you want? He's like, fine, I'll take the other guy. And then he, you know, he wins. And then the next guy comes on, and he's like, he weighs as much as fucking Ludwig weighs. And I'm like, don't say that. It's hurtful. So he's like 300 pounds. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm like, I still get my guy. And they're like, whatever, man. And he goes and he lifts him up by the diaper in the air, off, feet off the ground. Like a bad holding kid. Him and, and wrote and spinning him 
and then he throws like him. A Bowser throw. It, it, yeah, it was like it was like it was like Bowser. And in sumo wrestling, if they just fall so down, they lose. Like there's no if you fall or if you step out of the circle, yeah, yeah. out of the circle or just fall. Which I didn't know the rules of that, so I was kind of like, oh, they just push him over. Uh, and so that was hype. And at the very end of it all, <laughs> there was a group of fans who could pay a premium to fight the sumo wrestlers. What? Wow. And I was like, I would have done anything to do that if I knew that going in. Wow. And so <laughs> one of the dudes. <laughs> One of the dudes looked like Peter Griffin. He was just fatter than the sumo wrestlers, but just a white guy from New York. And uh, he put up a fight. <laughs> <laughs> but the rest of the guys were just like kind of strong young guys. And the sumo wrestlers just like toyed with them. Wow. Wait, well, Hassan did this stream where he went to a sumo spot and it showed off just how much technique they have. Because he goes up against this guy and it looks like he's putting up a fight because the sumo is like getting right to the edge of the ring. Yeah. And the moment he hits the edge of the ring and he's like flailing back there, he just like puts his foot down and just flips us on like without <laughs> yeah. an issue. And he knew exactly where he was. His heel was like an inch away from losing, wow. but it was not a problem because he, he knew that he was yeah. toying with him. Yeah, I kept was... thinking he was going to lose. I was surprised by the amount of awareness. Yeah, you just um... it was tight. It was that was worth it for sure. Sumo wrestling. Yeah, I want to go back so I can fight the sumo wrestlers. You want you should train. I want my I want my moment. What if should I told you there's a country a day? where there's so many sumo wrestlers? Where? Uh, Nihon, Nihon Desk. Oh, Nihon you go back? There was one guy you could tell, like, everyone was kind of having fun with it, and there was one guy you could tell really wanted to win. Mm. And, like, he, like, tripped and fell when he ran to do his first, like, push, and they let him go again. And it was, it was all really cringe. Dude. It was like, he was, he was, like, trying super hard, and the sumo wrestler was like, dude, like, this is, like, <laughs> this for, is my job. This is for the family. Like, oh, it was one of the, comp the people in the audience. One of the fans. Oh, I thought it was crazy like, they let a pro sumo oh, wrestler no, no, like, go no, again. No. The yeah, actual fights right. were very legit, it seemed. I don't yeah. Know. <laughs> He's <laughs> like, I'm serious about being a fat guy. The, cha <laughs> the champion of the night, he was wearing a Yankees hat, like, after he won. So it's like a sumo wrestler in a Yankees hat, which I imagine is, like, the largest size they offer. And then uh, he had a towel out the Yankees hat that goes all the way down to his butt. And the, the towel just said, I want a beer. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And I was like, I rule super That's hard. Tight. That's my go. Um, That's really all that happened. Not a New York guy. Not a New York guy. Not a New York guy. An LA guy. It's an LA thing to say. An LA thing. You, know? you went to Vegas. Yeah, I had a, Why? I had, I had a sabbatical. <laughs> That's not what that is. He keeps calling he it that. He keeps saying he That's has not a sabbatical. What a sabbatical what, is. Yes, it is. What was it? What, like, just, a mind cleanse. You just went somewhere. You just went to Vegas. And came back. On vacation. Tell me. How'd you run? Let's start this. What is a sabbatical? And then came back for your job at the regular cadence. Sabbatical is like at. a leave from a job for for purposes of like either maybe f I think physical health and mental health. Like what uh, job did you leave? Okay, I see what you're saying. It's not a sabbatical. It's Thank something you. else. A vacation. <laughs> it's a vacation. Right. Uh, a trip. So I took a sabbatical to Las you Vegas. You took PTO. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I took PTO. <laughs> no, so I was going to, uh, I was going to go to Vegas and then I was going to go back home to Colorado and uh, do, do a couple things. But then I decided to just stay in Vegas because it was fun. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, why? <laughs> so, so, but what's going on right now is World Series of Poker, which is a like two. It's about a month and a half of just like all day tournaments at every casino and the venue that they do that at. So I basically just played tournament poker for like five days straight, and it was really fun. And I I I, I ran like shit. But what I did is I would get frustrated. I would go to the blackjack table and mine it, and just come back <laughs> with money and just finance You're my trip. So old to be doing that. But 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 I didn't no. lose. Not, I, mean, I, I, I know, I, mean, I know, but I just didn't I lose. mean it's because his life experience should teach him that's not how it works. Because oh, when see. I first went to the, the uh, casinos, it was in Arizona, Arizona State, the one in Scottsdale, mm -hmm. right? The casino there? Not anymore. Closed not down. anymore. It's closed. It is still there. It's called Talking Six Resort. <laughs> no, they and closed it. it. Nope. It's on, it's on Native American land, Talking Six Resort. And I went with Talking it. Stick, which is actually true. It's... No. It's talking stick. It's talking sticks. It's not. I'll All bet the you, sticks I'll talk. Bet you can. Oh, yeah, All the funny. sticks talk. The, the T and the sign went off a long time ago, so like people <laughs> who just moved there think it's... It's yeah. talking stick. Okay, either way... Because I, Mikey would host tournaments there. I saw it all the time. I went to Talking Stick Resort, and, uh, and this is when I was freshly turned 18. I had my, my friend Eric, who's a couple years older. Nubile. And Nubile. And we would go, and we had a strategy of going to Blackjack, making money at Blackjack to play poker. Yeah. And it was like a tried and true. And we went every other week for like three months, always bringing like 80 bucks and then just running it up in blackjack. And it worked almost every time. Isn't that and funny? I was convinced 
that I was like, oh yeah, blackjack, you just make money. <laughs> and then poker, you like get better at, and you make a lot more money. I've lost enough money in blackjack to know it doesn't work like this. So much. I just kept getting lucky and leaving when I was up, which is yeah, a new development. That's a skill. So I, yeah, I financed my whole trip just playing really difficult tournament poker. I did play, I think, fit well enough, but I just, you know, you make mistakes. You also went at like the dumbest move. time, right? No, because it's so many people in general. Like it, it's actually there's just bigger fields, but no one's actually good enough to like clobber you mm. like there's killers every now and then but i don't know i played enough to be like feel all right it was really fun though i had a great you fucking time people went up I, yeah i'm actually up which is funny dude what ludwig what's this what what, what? what's gonna get us in here you're, you're not gonna believe this what i have the ability to stream anime on my youtube stream I've secured a deal to do it. What? The only rule is that I can't keep the VOD up, which makes sense. And I also have to block the entire country of Japan from watching my stream forever. Which you should do anyway. Well, yeah. Because you promote Western values that I don't think are good. I think I should do it because even people in Japan can keep watching if they used NordVPN. Oh. You can get around that silly old region-locked content, which I might be a part of. Oh. So if you're a Nippon desk and you want to watch uh, Western media like Ludwig. <laughs> yes. You want to watch it live on Ludwig's channel. There will be no VOD. No VOD. If, he d if there was a VOD, he'd have to take it down Within instantly. 60 days. Instantly. <laughs> 60 days is a good... Because I would get probably C&D right. by someone in Japan. And you so, wouldn't like, you you wouldn't wouldn't like that. that. You wouldn't like that. Thing to happen, so how about so. you use Nord to protect your online activity? <laughs> Phishing, password attacks, DDoS, ransomware. They have a 30-day money-back guarantee. It's quick and easy to switch servers during use. And one account lets you use uh, up, to, up to six devices, which is a lot of devices. And I, I have six devices because I have four cell phones and two computers. Yeah. That's a lot. And he mm -hmm. needs and he's I gonna I watch I your stream buying on cell phones. Them. Yeah, he keeps them on a belt and a Bluetooth. He's like, trying to he's going dad core. Like he's, gonna, balls. he's gonna be like one of those grandmas playing Pokemon Go when they have like six phones out. Shut yeah. the fuck up. Now right now you can get a two year plan at a huge <laughs> oh. discount plus one additional month for free when you use our link nordvpn.com slash the yard. It's risk free. Nord thirty day <laughs> money back guarantee. NordVPN dot com slash the yard. And again, you can you can be influenced by wanton Western culture. I will block you, and it's not your fault. But please keep watching with Nord. On my, on my plane, I was, uh, Jeff Wittick was sitting next to me, who I don't know. He, yeah, he does the haircut thing. He yeah. was part of David Dobrik's crew before he broke his. Face on, on David Dobrik's yeah, crane. Just, he dude, looks I, great. Crane I just yeah. learned this morning that he's had like nine eye surgeries. A lot of eye surgeries. Of the crane. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's I, fucked. I, I, I met him. I met him on the plane, and he uh, still has more surgeries to get, which is crazy. You talk. Oh, to you talked to him. Yeah, I talked to him. You sound he, like you weren't going to talk yeah, to him. Yeah, I didn't think this? I was going to. So I was like, Jeff Wicks on the plane. Experience kind of funny, and then Aiden's. I like, talked to him, and I was like, I don't know any really much about him. I'm, I'm sure. Aiden would have a hype. Then it kind of just more naturally happened. So I was like, okay. Um, he's very nice. He's very cool. Your eye looks fucked. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't even tell. It's like, that's how I was like, damn, rich people yeah. can just like get crazy good surgeries. That's great. And be totally chill. Um, but one funny thing that he said was, um, he's like, yeah, I was supposed to, I was supposed to cut Ludwig's hair, but apparently he's like picky about his hair. Oh. And I was like, Pussy boy? In my head, I was like, Ludwig goes to supercuts. Little last time, he's a little pussy boy. I'll Why are you drama. turning down man down? I'll do a drama alert right now. Drama alert. Oh. I'll do drama for <laughs> Jeff <laughs> fucking <laughs> Wittick's dumbass fucking. Uh, I like oh, this because Ludwig's oh. face yeah, was so. Dumbass probably deserved hey, to get caught in the crane. Whoa, 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 that's whoa, 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 yeah, I'm in right. your whoa, whoa, I'm in whoa, whoa, your whoa, corner. That is what Ludwig said. I mean, that's what I'm, you I'm said in private. This. We don't represent the views of the <laughs> of garbage Ludwig. the garbage bag with shoes on <laughs> in the corner of the room. Those are the views that Ludwig has, and I'm back up. He told Aiden in private. He said this. This is kind of funny. In 2019. All right, pre-COVID, I messaged Jeff, and I said, hey, if you ever need a video idea, like, I'm willing to throw my, my, my body on the line, because I watched Jeff at that point. Okay. And I, and I liked what Jeff was doing. I thought he was funny. I thought he was the funny guy in the David Dobrik group. Just threw that. Three years later, <laughs> he replies, and he says, wow, I just saw this, bro. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, through, I wonder what happened three years later. Well, he said, saw you on Cold Ones the other day. It was dope. You showed your nuts. Love those guys. Wow. And then Chad and Culture, Max, I mean, not the nuts. <laughs> and then he said, we got to get you on the show. And I said, yeah, I'm busy because it's like two weeks before chess boxing. But after I'm good. And he said, great. And then uh, he said, sick event. Don't know, Wald, my bad. He messaged me again. He said, yeah, I'm down. I gave him a time. He said, where are you located? And then I forgot to respond. 
Ooh, I wow, just found drama this alert. Dude, you, <laughs> you bet so hard. <laughs> wow. Because I saw his face and he was like, yeah, let's rock, bitch. Like, he had he had the answer. Whoa, 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 I still don't know where the whoa, whoa, whoa. So Jeff is from. just an, a, a good, honest guy. Well, no, because to be fair, I never said shit about hair. Dig the hole. All I, Dig all, the hole, all I said is where you're located. It was located. too specific to be a lie. I, I, I didn't say maybe, anything about hair. I didn't say, I didn't say like, I'm picky on hair. I said I'm kind of busy. And but so he made that up. And second of all, he took three years to reply to me. Three months. That's not that bad. Sure, I think that's fair. I think that uh, once again, the, the the court man says that Ludwig wins. Jeff, twenty twenty six. Twenty twenty six. That's when you. Comes. That's when you get to touch this Adonis's hair mane. I think he would be fun to have on. Uh, this pod. Yeah. Well, Aiden wants him now. Your son wants it. Will you buy it for your yeah, son? Yeah, please, no. Dad. My buy kids. My iPhone. kid's whiny. Dad. I have a whiny kid. He does dress like that. Yeah. You dress like the son of a Grand Theft Auto character. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> GTA 5 and you burp like one too. <laughs> oh, he would just fit right in with a crypto crew. Like bros who make NFTs. He would fit right in. I took a picture of him we'll post later, but it literally looks like his ape just crashed. <laughs> it did. My apartment. <laughs> my apartment's down. Oh, dude. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. The, I think the highlight of my trip was honestly like I was so... Okay. I realized two things about myself. One... Is that gambling is so fun? Mm. <laughs> it just is. No, but like, it, I on the poker table when you are playing in tournament with all these like degenerates that have been there for like a month or or live there or whatever, and it's like we're all sharing this common interest of like this game that we're playing of deception, but also it moves slow, so you can talk to each other. I was talking to people like I was Aiden. I was getting to know people, and it was so interesting. I was like, like you were, Aiden, I was like, why do I feel comfortable I think here? You're doing this like a human. That's what I'm saying. Okay. On the poker table, human. I become human. Detroit, become human. Oh. Yeah, and yeah. I was also the funniest guy on there, which meant a lot to me, right? Like, I was just so quick and making jokes. And everyone was laughing. And, like, we were just sharing this entire thing at a table. And I was like, this is where I belong. It was a really nice revelation for me. I think, I think it would be bad if you were there for a long time. Aiden, go ahead. Send me a text. He said, I sat next to this girl at the poker table, and we hit it off and hung out all night. She's a lawyer from Canada. This is what it's like to be Eamon. That's true. This literally happened. It was like, it was like crazy. Some of the joys of human connection. However, the, you have to explore that human connection further. Cause if you were there a year, you would, you would see maybe some regulars, but you don't see like so many new people in and out. You'd be like a school teacher. That's fine. You never fine. get to forge mm. connections. That's for, fine. For life. But I like it that way. Cause there's no obligation. He prefers that's, that way. That's why Aiden likes super drivers. Because he can never see them again, mm. and if they die, he doesn't care. But yeah. When they die, he doesn't care. He, hopefully, he hopes they he do hopes on they their do. next ride. He hopes <laughs> the next ride they die in a fireball, so it doesn't matter anymore. So, and then his luck resets. Yes. But I think for Aiden, he also probably has higher joy in the deeper connections and in, 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 in nourishing those mm. than forging new connections. No, because I don't think he, he does. wants most people to die in fireball like situations. Because because the thing is, what I'm saying is the difference between someone dying in a fireball uh -huh. after they drop him off and he, and he maybe tips them, probably not. And the <laughs> difference between that and never talking to him again is the same in his head. Yeah, because he has diseases let's clear in something his head. Else. Let's clear something up. He doesn't tip them, right? Of course, but, yes. But what he does <laughs> is he is he is he gives them some life advice. He talks to them. He listens. They don't even ask for the advice. He just gives them life advice. Unsolicited advice, advice which solicited. everyone loves and wants to hear all the time. And he and in his head, that was the tip. Just start a, <laughs> just start a podcast. Right. Just start a podcast. It worked for me. Just yeah. start a, it's like actually, it's funny. You, if you start a podcast, you actually make a lot more than you think you might. I don't. <laughs> I don't. My first try actually made a lot of money. Uh, doing a podcast. I guess I don't have five kids, but I would just start a podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that could probably pay for the colleges. I wouldn't. But don't use like a yard. We did that. So yeah. maybe try something else than a yard. It would be hard if you did it and called it the yard. Maybe the street. It would be difficult. Maybe the street. Yeah. Pick a street. The street's good. You should ask my friend Nick. He actually kind of set the whole thing up. You should like, <laughs> ask him. He give you some tips. But Aiden, I think still with all of this, you know, vitriol, anger, uh, immoral activity, and yeah. new relationships forged, probably still prefers those deeper relationships getting deeper, which is why he follows up. Because he follow. He is a follow upper. It's not like he forged a new relationship and it's like pff, burned, gone. But wait, but in his mind, I think he only follows up the check if they've exploded in some sort of fire instead. See if he has well, to continue he does following, he does both. <laughs> right? If they <laughs> haven't, he makes sure he keeps the connection longer, so right. he loves them, so he doesn't want them. To All right, well, fine. Let's just let's just consult the actual person, Nick. Yeah. What is your final thought on how Man, Aiden treats I'm really trying to synthesize all the things that we've said here today. <laughs> um, but I think where I'm ending up is 
He wants people to hurt and feel hurt and feel bad because he will never feel it himself. Yes. And I think that it makes him, it kind of entertains him kind of like a... Like a TV show. Like an iPod Nano game. You know, it's like just enough. Just, just enough. Just enough for this flight. That makes a lot... Of, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Well, this has been the Yard Podcast. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I met, met this guy named Ben this morning from Team Liquid. Went on a hike with him in Bjergsen and I'm l looking forward to hanging out with Ben again. Because we're going to hang out again soon. Did you really? Yeah. Wait, it's so wait, crazy. Is he that journalist guy? <laughs> no. Uh, I think I know this person still. So, you know, just met him for the first time this morning. Looking forward to spending more time with how him. How many times have Aiden... Hope he Aiden, doesn't explode in any fireballs. I don't know. How many times have Aiden has asked me to hike? And the answer is actually zero. He's actually never asked me to hike either. Why? Actually, you know what? Let's flip it on Aiden. Why do you like these new friends more? Yes, That's me. what I'm saying! He asked me to hike once. Why have you never asked me to hike? I, 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 I have asked you to hike. No, you haven't. Two, no, you yes, haven't. No, have, wrong. Have, have, when? have. Can find the DM. Okay. Ask, definitely asked you when we lived in the old house together. Never asked you because you never want to do it. You hiking with John and Radstats was a phenomena that we all... <laughs> we, that we you all guys were stumped saw at that like, one. like it was a big foot. <laughs> so, so don't ask why I don't ask you. And I have asked you before once, but... He also doesn't like hiking, so that's why I don't I, ask him. I love hiking. I have no idea what he's talking Interesting. about. Interesting. Like hiking. LA guy. LA guy doesn't like hiking. Does love hiking. Why, <laughs> why do you like these new friends more than us? Yeah. And why do you not hang out with us? I don't. Mm. Well, we're hanging out right now. No, this is work. That's what we say to you. You can't use that argument because we say that to you, and then you go, shmeep, shmeep, bop, buddy, bop, buddy, bears. And then we all want to die inside. At least me and Nick do. Well, I have a good reason. Why? I work. Keep my boys fed. Body doesn't quit. He, you live far away, and that's fine. You don't invite. Hmm? You don't invite. You don't invite any of us. You don't even hang out with him at the home you live together. Yeah. <laughs> this is about slime. Uh, I was hanging out with Jazz Fizzy, hmm. uh, the melee. Yeah. Made, he made Slippy. Legend. Um, in New York. And <laughs> we were talking about slime. And, uh, and he goes, yeah, slime. Uh, so, like, his Twitter, like, I'm like, what's his deal? <laughs> and he just asked it like that. And I'm like, what do you mean? And he's like, just so mad. <laughs> yeah. Like, all the time. <laughs> yeah. And I, I thought about it a lot. I'm like, I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. Tough but, question to answer. But, you but know the way what? he put it was just Jazz, really funny. neither do I. I think I just scroll <laughs> and I see something and I see red. You do get mad. Someone today said something about how the space telescope is going to be able to see so far into space and it'll change the world. Someone, it was a physicist. And it I was, was like, no, it won't. trained physicist. Yeah, and I said, no, it won't. It, what? <laughs> Because it won't. It probably because it will. doesn't change the taste of mustard. Uh, the, what? Wow! What? Could, if someone tweeted, "I'm gonna change the taste of mustard," would you have replied, "This will change the world"? <laughs> yeah, that's really funny. If Isaac, <laughs> Newton, if Isaac Newton was around and you were around in his time, and he was like, "Dude, I found this gravity thing," you'd be like, "Who gives a shit?" No, I wouldn't. Yeah, you would. No, because it's the first time. This is the first time he's trying to get it out the mud. These people are not trying to get it out the mud. The, what, is, what does that mean? What does that mean? What, does that mean? what the fuck? Young did boy that never mean? broke again. <laughs> boy never. Why broke did you again. just dunk on a physicist? Because it's a dumb thing to say. What no, they said is not, not going to change the fucking not, world. It will. The Hubble Space Telescope changed the world. Change our understanding of the universe. Oh, and so but people still have to work at Seven Eleven. Yes. <laughs> what well, you what is the both. difference between this and Isaac Newton? If we colonized Mars, would that change the world? Yeah. But people still work at 7-Eleven. There'd be a Martian 7-Eleven, though, which is way no, different. No, they still, they still do it. Yeah, so, but the idea that there's a Martian 7-Eleven that you, like, share benefits with is crazy. Yeah, that's what they... That There'd be a lot of camaraderie. You guys are fucking <laughs> roasting me right now. Everyone listening to this stupid show Dude, knows that I'm right. with you. God, God I they, swear to God. I think this is one of the few times... It sucks I'm that I have to reheat the 7-Eleven pizza again, but at least I know I have a co-worker <laughs> hey, on Mars. If you have at all followed I'm, what we're talking about, leave a comment. Who's I'm saying, right? I'm telling the truth. I think I am, have an actual really good point this time that is unanimous. Speaking of who's right... Speaking uh, of which, if it's about him, I don't please care. Don't be by me. Please by don't be just me. an avalanche. I don't know what he's talking oh, about. Oh, yeah. last week. Last week. What? Let's check the Twitter thread. The the the, the Pope. Pope. Oh, the and Pope. Donald Trump. All right, I'm checking. I'm checking the results. The results here on the satellite orbiting the Earth. You can't look at the Twitter poll. Well, the Twitter what? poll is what we we polled people. That's what we asked. According to Elon question. Musk, 362,000 people saw this poll, and how many people voted? Were 43,000 human Go beings. Look at the YouTube comments. Is that which is crazy. crazy. Aiden, is this enough people for it to be statistically significant? Yeah, Go look yeah. at the YouTube comments. Look at the replies okay. of this post. Well, Let's... I don't know, but a poll says here. Oh my God. And, 
yeah. in, in many elections, this is considered a landslide. It's weird that Aiden would bring it up when he's wrong. Yeah. That's what I was, I was saying. saying. In, in a 60-40 election would be this is so It would be a historic landslide. A historic landslide. Well, so, I'm know, sorry that po- we used democracy so, to figure guys, out the answer. For audio listeners, the Pope earned 60, 59.6% of fair. the vote yeah. to Donald Trump, who has 40.4% for and, the most famous person between these two people. Yes, and, and Aiden, to Aiden's credit, let's, let's actually pull up the YouTube and see how many comments there were. And if there are more than 43,000... Then I think we should right. take those into consideration. Zipper, if you yeah. go, and, and remember, all those comments have to either choose a you know a decision in right. that. So I they, feel like maybe if we took every comment that said Trump and subtracted it from the poll, it would still be. Wouldn't well, we don't really. know. Let's check the numbers. Yeah, let's okay. check the numbers because the fair. numbers can tell the story. I'm assuming there's thousands of comments the way Aiden was talking about. Yeah, yeah. Let's check, it out. let's check it out. There must be thousands. We'll just pull it up right here. So Aiden. looking at the YouTube channel. Okay, oh. there is a little over. 1,000 comments. I think I have that many Facebook friends. 1,197 comments. Okay, so, well, there are likes considering... And, and there it is! The Pope and the U.S. President are titles, not people! Oh, we should probably trust that one guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's what everybody yeah. said! No, no, well, you, so they already knew well, it was about! 335 people liked that, uh, and there's four replies, which I'm sure discourse is occurring there. Uh, and I think even if you added everyone in the comments and just said they were all Trump and put it in the poll, you'd still lose by a landslide. True. It's not... True. So let me ask you this, Aiden. When you said, speaking of who's right, in a victorious tone, what did you mean? What, buddy, <laughs> Because we you... just pulled up the and numbers. And also, did you wear this on the hike? Because you look so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was excited. I was excited to, to revel in my glory. Go take a, a, go take a slide about it. Go take a slide, slide about it. it. <laughs> take a slide about we'll, it. We'll keep take it going. A, take a slide. Guys, and I brought you guys a, a gift. Take a lap. We don't take care. Take a lap. We'll take your gift after. Aiden's doing a sad slide down yeah, a slide. Yeah, I'll take your gift. Audio listeners are <laughs> yeah, slide. Yeah, the gift is so nice of him. Feels good to win. Feels you know, and I right. wasn't on your side, but sometimes the numbers don't lie. Ball does not lie. Ball don't lie. So, and that's the society we live in. One it's based good, on facts. It's good to win, you know? Because when, mm. when, the, when the poll went up, I was at ground zero. So I was going... You were at 9-11 site of terrorism. Right. Yeah. That's crazy. And so, Did you see anyone taking a picture, smiling in the picture? Yeah, all the yeah, a ton Isn't of people. Isn't that weird? It is super it's like weird. the Auschwitz photo. Yes, There's it the is. Girl and yeah, she's like, yeah, and she's killing it. It's like it's not like that. It's wait, it's actually. Different, I saw someone. Same I saw idea. That one of the names had a rose coming out of it, and I was that's like, cool. That's crazy. Very pretty. It was pretty. It's pretty. Also that, very it, sad. It's crazy that only one person had that. It was weird that there was only one. I don't know. Big asshole, by the way. Still. Ground zero. It's just like a, it's so big. Why don't they fill it? Beacon of well, that's the whole With point. With crud, it's yeah. Just, okay. There we. Okay. Oh, he, the fuck? <laughs> he took off his clothes to do Dude. this, which I do respect. You have a body that doesn't quit. <laughs> Your body doesn't quit. Doesn't God. quit at all. Yeah, also, we love no, your little don't martini. Suck down my toe, but yeah. It's suck time. Suck time for our boy. <laughs> suck it down. That's our slide boy. Yeah, so, and he likes so, to so suck. Ben, I was sucking down his topo chico. We should go on a hike again. <laughs> Archie's just, Arch just gonna have Fucking to blur idiot. his whole body. Archie's getting a workout this time. Yeah, put the fanny pack uh, on. Yeah. I could have used that. I, 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 needed, I needed one so bad in it's Vegas. Like, it's like when you when you find an I item. Of, off. <laughs> you find you, you need to have an inventory, but you don't have a like costume yet. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> he, he just found like a three slot bag off this a trash mob. Actually, I spawn in Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> This is a better outfit. Yeah, this is actually so much more money. If you were up in this, I'd be like, this guy fucking rules. This guy's fucking. Can did you, he drive you like this? Show us the gifts, King. Oh, give us our gift now. Come on, we want it. Our gift. Yeah, it's our gift time, basically. So. We want our gift now. Wait, Zipper, what's our time at? We have like thirty minutes left. Okay. Holy shit! Really? I'll yeah. save it. I feel the like end. it's been long. You're gonna save the gift. I'll wow, save the stick gift around to see Aiden's gift. Oh, no, I'll, I'll sound excited about it. Stick around to see Aiden's gift. That well, you really what, I can't physically do yeah, it. It's it's hard. Hard. I bet it's hard. <laughs> it's too hard. Speaking of rose, by the way, do you know what a rose is in a frat? Is it like a, what a rose like a fucked up sexual thing? Is it like it's like kind your, of. is it yeah. like your your little like your little partner like someone like a freshman? Is it like your little mm-hmm. freshman that you like? It's it's Stop when you're it's little when you're freshman. It's your little when, freshman. No, littles and bigs. That's a thing. Well, that is a thing, but it's, it's different. It's when your little commits a sex crime and you cover nope. it up through okay. mo- with money from the fraternity, <sighs> okay. and you give them the rose There's to say, "Hey, get slate's a, clean." Yeah. Littles and bigs is a sorority thing. Oh, is it all? Yeah. Oh, is it all a sorority? You, you don't say littles and bigs in frats. A rose is uh is like a designated girl for a frat. 
who's oftentimes in a sorority or like a paired sorority. Like a, like a dog? This already feels uncomfortable. <laughs> it's like it's like their girl for the whole group that of guys. they feed with a Wait, bull? So if what you do you look, mean their girl? This it, is like weird. It's, it's this their, is weird. The term is their rose. I know it is weird. That's why I'm bringing it up. But if you look at like any frat like picture, like they have this like almost yearbook like picture of every year. Each year will have their own rose. It'll be a girl who's the same year as the, the graduating year frat guys. And they'll just be there their picture with all the guys around them and it's like it, she's basically the queen of the land and i found this out the hard way because i went to a frat party with with a friend that i had from high school who invited me and i was talking to this girl and she's being an asshole and so i was fucking with her and she's like you look like you suck dicks i'm like i suck a fuck ton of dicks mm -hmm. yep. suck a whole bag of dicks mm, every day and then she like you know she she was she just got upset by that and then I found out I didn't want it to be right. <laughs> I found, well, she's homophobic. She found out that hard way. And then she found I found out that she was the rose because it got kicked out instantly. Wow. Like it was like it, the rose yep. demanded it and I was gone. Wow. Hey man, so our rose says you're trying to suck bags of dick. Can you just, <laughs> can you just clear up whatever happened? Dude, we know, and we know you came with two bottles of goose. So, <laughs> so it's like that was tight. So like we'll give you one to leave with and we're going to keep one you for trouble. You just can't talk to our rose anymore. Uh, and there's another term, shit. Zipper, I don't know if you can look it up. There's like rose fraternity and then there's like a, there's like another girl. We should have a yard rose. I, you know what? So I think we were talking about how weird it was, right? It's not a sexual thing, right? Well, it, it can just I be think Aiden it kind of, it's funny. I think it kind of is a sexual thing. What, because they're a queen? I don't think it needs to be a sexual thing, but I think the Rose oftentimes sleeps with many members of the frat. That seems so dark. I, oh, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, this is not. <laughs> for sure. Is, okay, can I ask a genuine question for my humans around me right now? What purpose besides a funny thing to talk about does a frat serve? I genuinely don't know. Community, right? Uh, yeah, friends. Yeah, brother, brotherhood. Okay. Brethren. And, and um, oftentimes I think people join frats because they want to party and yeah. have sex. Okay. And that, it's like... So it's like a sex cult, but well, it's Greek-based. Yeah. yeah. It is so Aristotle's Greek. involved. It's a Greek-based, hierarchical and that's sex why, cult. And that's why... Caste system almost. Stav is allowed into every fraternity in the U.S. But and but it's and it's also Greek. sanctioned by the, the higher education system. Sometimes. Some oftentimes uh, if the Greek life gets too out of control, they'll kick out individual groups, if not the entirety of the Greek life. They're actually all owned by Monsanto. <laughs> well are, are does it have any connection to Greece the nation? Mm. No. Not just so the, they don't get kickbacks. The, the, the alphabet. Or the movie? Just the alphabet. The alphabet's connected. <laughs> and then there was also, by the way, there's a hierarchy in the Greek system. So like their Sigma Chi is consistent. There's many colleges of Sigma Chi, and then there's a Sigma Chi headquarters. There's I a, see. There's like a tier list. Of so, so does Sigma Chi have like specific values <laughs> that are unanimous? They would say that, yeah. So it's I like think, they and, got they got no slut Thursday. Like we only do fireball. S Machis yeah. yes. will generally be a little stronger. Pronounce, they work pronounce out more. Mochi. No, that's the Japanese thing. Sig no, that's Fiji. Sigma Chi Machis. That's their nickname. Whoa. We'll work out more. The same with Thetas. I think Thetas generally are more into working but out. But the, there's a more slender frat out there, more otter-like. Mm, Kappa, Kappa Alpha has southern dude, values. we should start frats and sororities in the Discord server. I think that's a bad idea. This is and bad. they can all have their roads. The Kappa, Kappa Alpha is made by a... Uh, who's the guy who led the Confederate Army? Uh, like Ulysses Robert, S. Grant. Robert, Robert e. Lee. That's the other guy. Yeah, Robert E. Lee is the guy who made Kappa Alpha. What? Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's a slave cult. Well, I wouldn't say that because they... they it's, he fought but for they, slavery. But they are the biggest in the South. And and I, that's crazy because they fought to protect the rights to be a slave dude, owner. If his name was just Matthew, his initials would be Melee. <laughs> Makes you think. That's crazy. Much to think about. Much yeah. to think about. <laughs> so you did this. Uh -huh. Wait, or you explain this to me. This makes a lot of sense. This seems weird. Yeah. Yeah, of course it's weird. Greek life is weird. It is 100% so weird. So Josh gets zero kickback from this shit. Josh. Our Who's friend Josh. 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 Our Greek friend. Josh man? Oh, yeah, yeah he gets zero, zero kickbacks. He doesn't get zero. a check or anything. Well, it was no. a big dispute in the EU because they were like, they were subsidizing Greece for a while during that whole Pro economic thing. Can we thing? get the money from Greek and life? Then, <laughs> and then they were like, Austerity <laughs> measures. You guys have to stop sending all your money to American university fraternities. I like the idea of like Blake at Sigma Chi is like, bro, the home country's in trouble. 
<laughs> we got, we got to do a car wash again, bro. You get actually, into any fraternity yeah. and you automatically become an EU citizen. We should actually increase our dues to like subsidize the country because their culture is really important. So uh, what's up, Tyler, Blake? Can you come up here? Uh, we want to announce that we are raising the tax uh, on the <laughs> so Greek life. Blake, oh, no, please, please. Blake calm has down. brought it to my attention that youth unemployment is at an all-time high. <laughs> That's crazy, man. What a weird little thing that is it real. Is a weird, it's a weird little yeah. thing. Well, here's the thing. If you want to be the yard rose, right in. Right, uh, right into the yard. We do not need a rose. 18 plus looking for a yard rose. <laughs> no, <laughs> no rose. We don't want a rose. Hey, Aiden our rose, is our rose. Our rose right there. <laughs> the gnome? <laughs> no, it's the fucking canister. Oh. Oh, that uh, makes I like that. And I could be our rose. It, it's like it's like the magic no. conch. It's not, but not yeah. a sexual way. Like we just, it's just like our like a. We queen. just, we just, you press the button and you listen to it. Right now, if we Dude, had nice. to pick a rose, I think it should be Connor. I think it should be whoever our most viewed guest is. Is our rose? Oh, I like that. I, I, maybe Stavros. I, I want Stavros. He'd be a beautiful. And he's already he'd be a Greek. beautiful. Supple he is Greek. Rose. All right, he can be our rose. He's our beautiful, delicate rose mm. that Did we you? will always water. You rush, didn't you? you yeah, didn't I rushed. Rush. I did rush. I rushed two kappa alpha, actually. What does rush mean? It means to try to get into the frat? Yeah. And it, you, you have to, like, out. suck a guy off and, like, get drunk and uh, kill yourself. No. Yeah. 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 Eventually. No, like, it's no, crazy, no. right? That's no, after you no, pledge. No. That's not during rush. The, the, the system works. Don't. Okay. Just zip, zip, <laughs> just score that out, Archie, because Nick is playing what with What does that the, do? Is that like he, suck? he doesn't have to blur that. There's nothing explicit about Well, <laughs> now he does. <laughs> oh, my God. Did, wait, you just found out the eye of Sauron. <laughs> oh, it pulses. Oh my god. That's I don't cool. like that. I don't also, like that. Also, for those, because we talked about this so long ago, I want to be clear that we made this 100% with Amaranth and her no, team. No, we used the technology from the episode. <laughs> Sign to off. Yes, sort of. There can was a lot just of AI randomly guessing. make this as a. Uh, <laughs> what are we going to tell her that we made 400,000 of them? We actually don't have to. I've been in meetings for so long about this. We don't, don't have to say meetings. shit because it's fucking America. Yeah, and she was on the pod, which means we have the right. That's right. We made the joke. Uh, we have the right to her. That's, form you guys think i'm hot i actually I, just, I actually just so do i just do <laughs> okay sorry go on you're talking about getting into a frat and having to suck all those peepees and <laughs> the mushroom uh, bobby uh, in the, the back general, of the, the general there. system is you rushing is you just trying to be a chill ass viber yeah and they invite yep. you to parties and there will be booze for free Tight. and girls Fucking boobies and, and boobies. And around. so they pick out the most vibe ass chillers yeah. and they say, hey, we'll give you a, that's the rushing process. And we'll give you a bid. And the bid is basically like, hey, we are bidding for you to join our organization. Because oftentimes you will rush multiple frats at once. I see. And then, then they'll pick like who their favorites are and they'll have like their Is that just based list. on like who the most chill ass fiber is? It's yeah. literally Dude, who the most chill ass awesome. fiber is. But it also has to go in line with the frat's that's, ideals. That's, so if like, some, you're a black guy, they're probably like, no, we don't want you. No, Because no, we're a southern know, frat. And, no. that's how and, Robert Lee. and Robert E. Lee said none of you should, you know, have freedoms and I don't rights. think it's at like, uh, no. But they can do that. Right, there no. is a social system where they can be like, "Yeah, we don't choose that guy." Well, and it's way, like, well, the, why? The way this actualizes, and this probably happens, but I think it's less in like direct racism, like you're implying. The way I see it happen more frequently is in like uh, the homogeneity of sororities. So, like certain sororities will be just blonde hair, blue eye. You know, five Aryan, foot seven. Yeah, <laughs> like like it's like, Aryan Kappa five. Like you've seen many. <laughs> Sororities like Alpha Phi is one that's known for like like you have to look a certain look. Sororities are worse in this regard. Sure. I think frats are more about being a, because girls a, are more racist. The dope ass chiller. Yes. And, but do you and think not selling out your? It's more about not selling out your brothers. Oh, and so then, it's it's guy code. Yes. Yeah. It's guy code. But with girls, girls rush is way different. They go through all these fucking. They go through the trials and tribulations. Is it still a thing? For oh, girls yeah. or guys? Both. Both. So so the, the process, you get the bid. If you accept the bid, then you are a pledge, which is usually a one semester process. 
And that's six months of of hazing. Yes, pledge. Yes, yeah, where, I'm pledge, sir. Where you are lower in the cast and you are required to do tasks, whether it's pick up booze or pick up a frat member. This pledge's body won't quit, sir. And then some get more aggressive, where it's like, hey, at 4 a.m., where they're gonna wake you up and you have to go swim through a river, or you have to drink for 24 hours straight. Oh my and god! And this was what occasionally leads to death. Yeah. Zipper three was telling me that uh, one of her friends in a frat, their their hazing was. They got woken up at 3 a.m., mm. blindfolded, put in cars, and then they drove them for three hours. They didn't know where they were going. And then they had they dropped them off in Times Square in costumes, and they had to be Times Square mascots for the day. That's crazy. Kind of fun. Yeah, but that's kind of... That seems not too evil. That's like a good memory. Yeah. That's that's like, is a, that is a more like a, fun one. That's kind of a funny one. But then, then the other like, ones are like, all the pledges have to like come in the ice cream box, box and then channel. somebody has to yeah. eat it. You gotta, you gotta slam goose and then swim until you die. Brian, you just gotta, you gotta come in Blake's mouth and Tyler, you come in Tyler's mouth. <laughs> really? Brian Tyler had to, mouth. Brian had to eat the little packet in the beef jerky. Oh, uh, most of them have the to do with, with like... Alcohol, I would say. Like, there's this one called "Don't Fuck Your Brother," which is you all the pledges get in a line, and then you get handed like a big, you get maybe a bottle of goose <laughs> if you're at Fiji, mm. and then you have to drink as much as you want or can, but it has to go to the next guy in line. And if like, in, say in the scenario where everybody just took a takes a sip, the last guy in the line has to finish the bottle, and it's called "Don't Fuck Your Brother" because mm. you're supposed to yeah, yeah drink yeah. as much as you can. That's crazy. Yeah, it's. Bad. And then after the six months, you'll be like a full time member, and then maybe you start to get some duties, which is like covering up date rapes. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. is actually probably one of the duties for, <laughs> so for a higher. That's one brother. guy's full time thing. <laughs> yeah. I know, if you're at SAE, like I do feel like the 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 perception, the cultural perception of this system is so bad. Because all I can think about is like all the bad shit that's ever happened and like how it's bro, bro I think city. The reason they get away with this five, four people is it's, allowed. it's like unilaterally very secretive. Like at every level, even the lowest totem pole in a fraternity does not like very intentionally does not communicate very much about what happens in the fraternity to people outside of it. And there's like a whole social system at universities that is like you're either in Greek life or you are not. And if you're outside of that bubble, it's actually very hard to like interface with it. Right. Unless you have a personal friend who happens to like be in a fraternity or sorority. I'll also defend some frats because I think this is the idea we have of frats, but there are some that are just nerds. Yeah, there's like academic ones. It's like engineering frats. And it's like in the social network when they're coding competition and they're yeah, slamming that's shots. Real. Yeah. Everybody does that. That's how you that's how they made MySpace. And it's how you get a job because then you like apply for Google and it's like, oh, you're part of like, you know, the Fiji or whatever. Yeah, the recruiter is like from Alpha Tau, even though he was from California and you're from New York. And then we're like, we're both Alpha Tauies, and then you get the job. <laughs> this happened on Road Trip, the 2004 movie. Right. And that's like Dark Souls. <laughs> Which is also kind of like Final Fantasy. It's, Have you played the new this one? This one's not. I guess you've been gone. <laughs> no, I've been gone. I haven't yet. People rave reviews. Rave some, reviews. Rave reviews. Some some controversy, but seems pretty cool. I like video games. Me too, man. I played a Valorant game this morning. What? Oh. The last day of the act. It's totally so oh, is this oh, night? Okay. Yeah. He's higher ranked than you right I now, know. isn't he? I know. Well, he is. Manuel, Manuel, well, I'll meet you by the end of the day. End of the day? So is he, oh, race? Race? I got till 9 p.m., I think. Uh, race that's war, the race war. The war of. <laughs> We're having a race. That's right. No. Announce it right now. Me and Ludwig are having a, a race, race, race war. It's just a race. Just a race. Against time. Well, it's it's war is involved, Valentine. There's. It's call it what it is. It's a race war well, between no. two friends. And we're. <laughs> Two friends, what you, and we're having it. What do you keep it. it in my fanny pack for? Gum, How about you keep your eyes on your own work? Do you, do you Does he have gum? gum? Dude? No, I don't have gum. If he has gum, bring it for the class. I have a receipt. What's this? I don't know. He's leaking my receipt right now. Why, Why are you leaking me? Why dude, you, you me? tip so fast. <laughs> 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 this is a bill. This is a, presumably a restaurant for meal. $120. Tip. Hundo. My goat. Look at you. God, you're such a no, that's tight. I'm not the one who's fucking bringing it out to wave and flaunt. I, I, I just keep my receipts. Show Sorry, some class we don't care about how much you put. I didn't bring it up. You don't uh, need. To. Why did we know about it? Yeah, I feel like oh you, you kind of planted that there, knowing all this would happen. Yeah, you knew that Aiden would dress like a king and be naked and look through your receipts. All right, Archie. Here's the real test. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! He's holding up his credit card to the camera. Yeah, that is, that is the that's how we. That's how we know if Archie's really. We're not gonna tell Archie. We're just gonna see if he catches it this week. Yeah, just let fun. that one run. <laughs> it's the company card, so this is on Nick Wang. Oh, if, it's if, so if you funny. Archie, Nick Wang's job has become harder. That's okay. And that's what delegation is. Yeah, Godspeed. If, if, if this, you were watching this and you saw, and it didn't get blurred, and you saw, what well, what size purchase would you try? Ooh, no, you go, you go hard, instantly, fast. What if it? But, what if you, <laughs> yeah, because so many people have got to it already. Like it, you, you <laughs> needed to see it frame one and then go to Gucci.com. I think traditionally, when you steal a credit card or a debit card, you go to a gas station, you do like a three dollar purchase, and if it's successful, then you try to do a massive purchase, and then you ditch the card instantly. That's like the that's like the system. You know more about do. fraud than I do. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of fun. Listen to Babytron. <laughs> yeah, I only know how to get crypto fast. <laughs> Dude, there was this guy who went viral on TikTok. Because he's doing this video from this pool and he's got like this iced out watch. <laughs> I was literally going to And he's this just up. explaining fraud and he's just in the pool and he's like, yeah, so not a lot of people know about this, but if you need money fast, you can set up an LLC and then you can get a business card for, for your LLC. Yeah. And then you can spend, max out the cards. And the thing about it, it's limited liability. So the business is liable. Just cancel the business. Get yourself a watch. Get doesn't, yourself a car. Doesn't impact your credit score. And he's like, I bought this eighty thousand dollar watch. I bought a different hundred thousand dollar one. Sold it. Flipped it. I get the cash. Business <laughs> canceled. Like he's walking you that, through yeah. just a felony. There was a Twitter post that essentially said the same thing, but you can get like a five thousand dollar loan from like state of California for a small business when you're starting one. And people are like, yeah, just get it, and then fucking get this loan and cancel it. You know, get this money. And someone just was like, this is fraud. And if you steal money from the government, it's it's way easier for them to find it, <laughs> to find you. <laughs> it is really easy to commit fraud, steal, thieve, and scam. It is, because there's so many people, and there's not enough resources to catch them all. That's yeah. why tax evasion is actually pretty easy. If you're just gambling, you won't get caught. If I were to want to t this tax evade, how would I do so? Well... Yeah. On the Patreon, the bonus episode, <laughs> we can tell. Uh, is it time? <laughs> not yet. We got 15 minutes, so we can tell them about it. No, it is time. Wait, wait, is it? No, wait, 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 wait. So I got something don't, you for don't you You don't trust Zipper? I don't trust Zipper. I think wait. Zipper's jumping the gun here. I think you're dumb I've and got, no one likes hey, you. Hey, all balls welcome here. This what is just fuck? a lot of penis. Where did you I, get I this? I saw this, this is, and I thought of you guys. Aiden is showing us a 5x5 five five of about 25 <laughs> give me, give, to 30 We can't kicks. show this. Yeah, but we can on the How Patreon. On the, premium <laughs> episode, on the premium episode, we can show this off and then tag yourself. You tag yeah, yourself. No, I want us to tag ourselves. Wow. Which one are you? penises. <laughs> I see mine. Honestly, yeah, honestly. I but see don't mine. tell them. That's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's great fun for the whole family. I knew Whoa. It. This is I got yours, right? No, this one's just crazy to look at. That's that is a weird look. Oh my that god, one. this reminded me. What man? I watched this show. It's called Naked Attraction. It's a British show that's been going on cable television in London for, for years now. And the premise of the show is it's one person presented with six people, and they are revealed nude from the ankles up. Full frontal. So it's it, it, in the show. Does not censor a thing. So it starts, it's like a girl and six guys and a guy and six girls. And it, and it shows, it shows tight, tight shots on dick and balls. Wow. It shows tight shots on vag, on titties. Yeah. And then the final reveals the face. And then throughout the whole process, it'll be like a guy and be like, it's a great rack. What? And, and, then, and then like eliminate somebody with bad It's like tits. American Idol, but for boobs and butts. And, yeah. And here's a crazy thing. I watch it on YouTube. Yeah. I just, it, and it was, and I've never seen... <laughs> Because I've, I've seen, like, I've seen boobs on YouTube. I've never seen dick and ball that tight. Yeah. And that close of like a shot. Like 4K, like, glistening penis. I've never seen vagina yeah. that Me detailed. Me neither, in general. What? <laughs> it was, what, is it like? what does it look like? So, anyway, uh, the show. <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> Have I ever posted the Halo clip from the old, old house? No, I don't think so. Have I ever posted that? I should post that eventually. Yeah, that's, now. that's one of my favorite videos. Go on. That's it. It's a crazy show that's on YouTube and it blew my mind. Uh, there, there was also a thing on British TV I remember from way back. It was like the craziest moments and it was it was this like prank show and it was in this dealership that had two levels and one the second level had like this giant glass pane where like people could walk around and there's cars in the showroom and when the, the prank was that there was just two people having really loud rough sex against the glass and all the people on the bottom were like 
Oh my, look, no oh dear, look at that. And it, but this girl's just getting like fucked, just like up against this glass. And it's like on TV in, in Great Britain. You're like, damn, you guys fucking get wild about it. They different, are not, we are prude other. compared to we're prude Britain. Because we're a Christian nation. We are a Christian. Well, actually, they are Under God. incredibly, they're more. Well, not as much as us. Yeah. More Christian? Big Christian. I, yeah. Well, fucking more, religion uh, more, I love now. More, yeah, more, ki- more Christian for sure. Hey, smoking the blunt is really zipper. <laughs> All right, you want a, a, another, another, another Ludwig game in bed? Oh, here we go. Wait, 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 let's, let's talk about the terms. Here, percentage so. of practicing Christians in each country. So okay, so it's percentage, is not number. Total. Percentage, of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's hey. more people in the the U.S. than there's the U.K. <laughs> there's different. Little like, this is like a Russell Brand video. <laughs> Uh, across England and Wales, forty six percent of people identified being Christian. Thirty seven percent no religion. Six Muslim. Forty six percent for England and Wales. So no, f- are we not counting Northern Ireland and Scotland? Uh, what do we want? I here? guess they're not counting and, Scotland, but I think it's fine. And this is twenty twenty one. So let's go to the U S. Forty six percent is the number to beat. <sighs> this might be tough. And to me, I don't feel like there's forty percent. There's no way forty six percent in the US. practicing. No way. It's gonna be lower. That's in the practicing. US. Well, I think it's lower for sure in the U S. Well, but maybe. I think in the U.S. there's a lot of people who claim Christian, but on a on a form, it doesn't matter. Like they claim they're Christian. filling out a form that says, "Are you practicing Christian?" Like yes. Uh, okay, self-identified religious affiliation, Catholicism, generic Christian, twenty yeah, so percent. The top three, so that's sixty-seven. Well, wait, does the number for Britain also consider Catholics? Yeah. Um, you can't just say yeah know, because it doesn't say that. Hold just up, hold up, buddy, Christians buddy, buddy. and Catholics are different. But if you say Catholicism is different is from Christianity, I might give this to Aiden because I read a line that said the U.S. is the largest Christian nation in the world, yeah. and you like that, and that's a Notably. big thing. But but there are more people. If I'm a fucking Catholic, fuck you, you tell me I'm Christian. Love, I said me and you outside boxing your fucking ears. You That's, understand me? So, yeah, I, I so understand you, but... It, it, Catholic, Vote in the comments. Catholic, Catholicism is just the, the first Jesus Christianity. Died for my fucking Wait, sins. that's dumb. You don't believe that, do you? It is true. Hey, yes. No, it's not. Yes, that's what the first... And then, dude, what? You think Catholicism is the first version of Christianity? Yes, No, dude. it's just the most powerful. No, oh, it's the no, first. You're wrong that's what started at year you're zero. Wrong. Catholicism. And then it, uh, the fucking Martin Luther was like, I don't know if I rock with this whole Catholicism thing anymore. And that's when that was the first like divergent thing from Catholicism, right? Uh, yeah. Yes. The first thing was Catholicism. Yeah, yeah because dude. because in in Rome and shit, the Romans killed Jesus, bro. That was so sad. I know. Well, the hey, Romans did it. Tune into the premium episode where we talk about our relationship with Jesus and what we think about the Romans. Yeah, yeah we'll also gonna... look at this penis chart. Penis you can play chart. Play along. <laughs> if, you, if you hit bingo, call in. <laughs> All right. See you later. All right. Bye, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> I met this. I met this guy on the light rail in Seattle like a few years ago. And, and you kissed him, night friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just kissed. Talk about us more. I just wanted to. I just wanted. I to don't tell care you about this guy on the light rail. Talk about the light rail. What about the light rail guy? He, well, he he did this. He told me this this story about. How